unforgivable. With me now, Arizona County Sheriff Paul Babu. Paul, thank you so much for being with us. Absolutely, what Deirdre. is your take as somebody who's on the front lines? Were you surprised at all by these statistics, which for the common citizen are shocking? I'm not surprised because we've been living in it. Uh, at the same time, uh, President Obama has uh, put a target on the back of our heroes in law enforcement across the country, and yet they're releasing these violent criminals who are not even citizens into our communities. They've released 500 right here in Pinell County, Arizona alone. Uh, these aren't just regular criminals uh, from America. These are criminals from foreign countries. 208 of the number you just gave are convicted of murder. 900 are convicted of rape, sexual assault, child molestation, and they release them into our communities. And you don't have to be the sheriff to figure out bad things are going to happen because of this. And the, and the president has to be directly held accountable for these actions and for the, the crimes that will occur because of this. So, Sheriff, I want to get your take on, on one of these kind of unintended consequences or something that's developed these sanctuary cities, because when I read these stats, I thought of that poor girl in San Francisco, beautiful girl, this great family. She was, by all accounts, an amazing citizen. She outreached local community um, and yes. murdered. And how did these sanctuary cities, how are they allowed to still function even when citizens are killed, as in her case? Well, and that's Kate Steinle. And there's thousands of her with a different name the sons and daughters of our families, Americans, and this Eldana, this lady who you just had on, uh, on that videotape, defending the actions of this government and trying to use the shield, this shield of law enforcement to protect their actions. It's not the cops. It's not ICE. It's not the, our heroes in the Border Patrol. It's President Obama and this administration, by their policies, this is absolute lawlessness. With a wave of their hand, it's the continuation of this executive action and orders. And through rulemaking, they're having the same impact as law. And they're handcuffing all of us in law enforcement across America. And this is where we need to put America, our families, our interests first for once, not illegals, not, not criminal illegals from foreign countries. They, these people that have been released should be deported, never to return to America again. Yet this president will never do so. And that's why uh, he should be fired in all his cohorts and should be replaced with, with Americans who are going to do their job and force the laws that are on the and books let people and put America first. So, Sheriff, Absolutely. hold that thought because we have this video of an arrest moments ago. We do want to show you right now what is happening in California. You can see that line of police officers that is at the bottom half of the screen. As we have been reporting, Donald Trump did make a speech there earlier, but because of protesters, he actually had to change uh, the car's route that he was in. And in fact, he had to get out of the car and walk over a field with agents very close to him to protect him. He did end up making his speech, chose to go ahead and do it. But how, however, as you can see there, there are still protesters live on the ground. I want to bring back Sheriff Babu. He is joining me from Arizona. So, Sheriff, this is obviously happening in California. You are in Arizona. Right. But it seems as if everywhere that Donald Trump goes, uh, this is going to be the norm for him. What do you make of this current situation? Well, it happened here in Arizona as well. And what I find ironic is that a lot of these uh, protesters who are all for peaceful assemblies and respecting everyone else's opinion, uh, suddenly they're the ones that are jumping on police cars and vandalizing uh, police vehicles. Last night, 20 uh, were arrested in the anti-Trump uh, protest, and, and then they get in scuffles with the cops. Uh, their First Amendment rights end once you start to disobey lawful commands from cops and you start to fight the police. And uh, Donald Trump is going to California. He's going to win in California, clearly. And yes, there's a lot of Hispanics, Latinos, and people are trying to make this about race and color. And this is not. This is about the law. This is about the laws that are on the books that the president, Barack Obama, has refused to enforce for illegal immigrants. What Donald Trump is saying is finally you have a very vocal 
uh, majority of the, the people of America who are saying enough, enough of this uh, lawlessness. We want leaders in our country who are going to put America first and enforce the laws. And if you're going to take action, you've got to do it with Congress. The very thing President Obama, who said 20 plus times that he would never take this action of deferred uh, action and, and de facto amnesty, he said this publicly, said he'd be a dictator or, or a, uh, a despot ruler if he did. And, and he reminded us how he's a constitutional lawyer. And then sure enough, he goes ahead and does it. So uh, we want a, a restoration of the Constitution and the enforcement of the law. Well, that seems uh, fair and clear, Sheriff. We thank you for your time. Thank you, Deidre. Sheriff Babu joining us there from Arizona. When we come back, the